Here's a little tour from yesterday also about his second year in the Mike McDaniel offense, what he's hoping to accomplish now that he's got plenty of experience with his new head coach. We feel extremely uh, comfortable uh, coming off of a, a year having to study, um, having to, you know, get a good feel of how Mike calls plays, um, you know, get a feel of the guys running the routes and then the concepts and where guys are going to be and uh, the distribution of those. So it makes it a lot easier when you can tr transition from that, um, you know, into this year and not have to learn new, like a new offense. So it looks like uh, you've been in the weight room a little bit this offseason. Uh, well, I I'm trying to work on everything. Um, as much as I'm trying to work on uh, throwing the ball, getting the ball to the guys, you know, being able to push the ball a lot more downfield, um, you know, getting in the playbook, I'm doing the same with my body. Yeah, awesome. look, I, I think he can be great this year if he can avoid getting shoved to the ground and having his helmet strike the turf or getting whipped like he did in Cincinnati, that violent motion swinging around, hitting his head on the turf. That's going to be the key, getting rid of the ball, being smart with his body, living to play another day, learning how to fall the right way. Ideally, you don't have to fall at all. Ideally, you don't get put in those positions. You get rid of the ball before there's that last second where the guy can shove you within the boundaries of the rules or just beyond the boundaries of the rules. You want to avoid taking those hits if you can. That's going to be the challenge. And, and if he can stay healthy, if he can play all the games this year, the Dolphins could be great. And he will be an MVP candidate. Yeah, definitely. I mean, his, uh, you know, like we saw last year, he was there for a while. They were good. His numbers were awesome. And, you know, it's, it's, he was in that conversation a little bit. I like the way he looks. I do. You know, that would have been one thing that I, if, I, if I knew to or he ever asked my advice, I'd go, you need to put a little more, you know, muscle structure on your body. You know, I think he was a, a thicker guy, but and I'm not trying to be funny here, but I, I think he was a little soft. And, and from the things I've seen in social media and videos and everything at practice, it looks like it's thicker and toned up. So that's going to add a little muscle and help to take on the blows, to, yes, control the neck and the head when he does fall down. I think those are all positives. And then being in the system for the second year in a row is going to help too. It'll help to save his body. You know, you'll just have a better sixth sense and feel of, hey, wait, when I'm in danger, where can I get the ball out to in a hurry and avoid a hit and do all that to where you're more comfortable in that area? That could be something that saves him as well. But certainly excited about the Dolphins and Tua. And I mean, come on, that would, they were one of the most fun teams to watch in football last year. And let's see what they do in year two of the Mike McDaniel experiment. And by the way, you can see the full story at PFT and the link to the GoFundMe page. But Eric Carmona, who was the founder of the Two and On movement, recently died in a car accident. Sad story. He's only 30 years old, Navy veteran, four children. Tua donated $10,000 to the effort. I think Tyree Kill has kicked in a significant donation as well. If you want to give, if you're a Dolphins fan or if you're just a rabid fan of any team and can appreciate that passion that brings you to the sport. That's what holds all fans together. Even if they hate each other on the surface, we're all part of this shared experience where we love football. That's why we're here. Tragic situation for his wife and four children, 30-year-old. Uh, Eric Carmona died this week and Tua with $10,000 to help the family. Great gesture by him. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.